You and I, we suck at freehand painting and we want the security of decals or transfers, but we don't want them to look like trash. So a short, sharp video today as we take a look at how to apply them and have them look natural. I don't apply decals at the end. Instead, it's generally around halfway through my painting stages and you'll see why shortly. I have a tower Riptide and some Blood Angels bikers that are both ready. I've selected what I want to apply and I've cut them out fairly neatly trimmed and I can just use my wet palette to help loosen them. Whilst I wait for them to come clear of the paper backing, I grab my bottle of Microset. There's Microset and Microsol. Easy to remember which is first because on the bottle they are labelled one and two in the top left. I've brushed micro set across the surface of where I want to apply the transfer and now I can gather it up with a brush and transport it across. It's not a sticker so don't worry if it goes on wonky. Push it around with the sharp point of your brush until it's in place and then leave it. No more touching. Micro set is softening the decal and helping it to adhere to the model. Once dry, jump across to Microsol, the red bottle, and apply this over the top. Your decal is likely to move if you push it, so focus on gently pushing down with your brush rather than sideways. Microsol will help shape your transfer and mold it to an irregular shape. Take the Space Marine shoulder pad for example. This will curve your decal to remove those creases. The decals are on, but they just look like stickers. So here's how we tie everything together and bring the model to life. Weathering. Using the base colour of the armour panel, I sponge some chips across the decals because nothing looks this clean in combat in the 41st millennium. Next, a thin down wash is a natural looking grime and then I take it up a notch with thinned brown and orange for streaks of rust. Once you're happy, a matte varnish over the top to remove the last of the shine from your decal. Here's how the bikes and the Tower Riptide turned out, and I hope this guide has been useful to you. Is there something else in the hobby that you'd like some assistance with that you think will benefit others as well? Let me know below in the comments, and if you see one in there already that takes your fancy, give it a like so I know where the hype is. This has been a different approach to a video this week. It is short, sharp, and to the point. The idea is that it's one that you can search for to solve a specific issue or save in your hobby playlist to come back to later on. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Join our hobby discord if you want immediate assistance with your hobby. And thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Now get out of here. I've got another video to make. Did that look right? Yeah. Excellent, well done. <laughs>